Good morning. I decided to start the vlog in a different spot other than the kitchen. So today we're in the living room. Um, today's a Wednesday. It's Yom Kippur. Madison has off of school for that. We're going to celebrate by going to Walmart. <laughs> um, I just need to get, well, the main reason I need to go is because I need to return a couple things because I only have 30 days to return it. Apparently, I thought Walmart had like a longer time that you could return stuff for. Or maybe it was because I didn't have the receipt last time either. But what the frig? It's not supposed to rain. <sighs> or maybe it is supposed to rain. I don't know. Why is it raining? I need to go to Walmart to return some stuff. Uh, those clothes that I bought last time, or last time I was there. Yeah, but um, I'm really excited for today because we're going to go see a house tonight. We haven't seen a house in a while. I actually gave up looking for a while because I just got so frustrated with not being able to find anything around here in our price range that was decent and there are just not being a lot of houses for sale and then I wanted to like move to a different state so I was looking at houses in North Carolina for a while and I was like seriously looking at moving out of state but I, don't know, I decided to look out a little bit more from where we are it's like a half hour away from my mom and Greg's parents which kind of sucks but it's whatever um but I'm kind of excited to see this house because I feel like it's going to be good. I have a good feeling about it. Um, and we're seeing that at 7.15 tonight. So it's going to be kind of a long day. But yeah, uh, Noah is down for a nap right now. I'm still trying to figure out when I can leave the house. I can't really leave the house. It's really hard to leave the house because Noah takes naps. Then he needs to eat. Then he needs to eat solids. Like he's nursing and having solids and then Chase needs to have a nap and Chase needs to have lunch and it's just like, oh my gosh, can I ever leave the house? So when he wakes up, it's probably going to be about lunchtime, but we're going to go out. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably not going to vlog out in Walmart because it's just too stressful to bring the camera out and have three kids with me. Maybe I'll take it out for a second because I plan on putting Noah into the cart, like sitting up for the first time, like, you know, in the little seat because he can finally sit up now. He's like 99% sitting up by himself. Sometimes he still does fall over if he loses, if he loses his balance. But yeah, maybe I'll get a clip of him sitting in the cart for the first time or whatever. Um, but if I get anything worth showing you guys, I'll show you when I get back home. And then later, we'll go look at that house and I'll let you know how that goes. We made it into Walmart. I didn't end up putting him in the cart like I wanted to because... Well, I put him in for a second and then I felt like he was going to fall out. What? This is what I want in yeah, I felt like he was going to fall out. I, I forgot the strap that I usually use with the cover thingy, and I wanted to use the cover because, I don't know, it's like germ season, and I just felt like using the cover. But, yeah, he likes to try to flip himself out of things, so I felt like I wasn't going to be able to watch him as closely as I wanted to with the other two, so I just decided to put him in the stroller. So he's hanging out, being a good boy. They're looking at toys. Anyway, I got the couple things that I wanted. I wanted to try to find nail polish. It's like Sally Hansen, like, gel, but without the light. I forget what it's called. But I couldn't find any of it here. Like, I couldn't even find Sally Hansen at all. Oh. <laughs> we are back home now. I didn't get anything interesting to show you. The only thing is these. I'm about to give these to Noah for the first time. He's never had, like, finger foods before, so this is going to be his first time trying to pick food up and put it in his mouth. Actually, that's a lie. I did give him... What did I cut up? I cut up something. I think it was like little tiny pieces of banana or something, which probably was... I mean, that's a hard thing to try to pick up with your fingers, a piece of banana. Um, but I'm going to give him some of these and see what he thinks of it. Apple cinnamon. Oh my goodness. Are you ready to try this? Is this a bad idea to give this to you? I'm scared. I'm a little bit scared. Let's see what he does. Ciao, Chase. Let's we'll see what he does. I want to try one. I want to try one, Mommy. Put it in your mouth, mister. Chase, they're for Noah. No, no. He has no idea what to do with this right now. Like, this day is, like, so messed up. Noah is taking a nap now. It's almost 5.30. Normally he's awake and like done sleeping by like 4 or 4.30, but we went out and it interrupted his nap. Like he didn't take his nap at normal time. Uh, so now he's taking a nap. He's probably going to go to sleep late tonight, which should be all right because we're going to be getting home late or I don't know, late-ish I guess. And 
getting everybody to bed later, so maybe it will work out all right. Um, I ate dinner, dinner <laughs> at not even, almost five o'clock. I was eating leftovers from last night because I didn't have lunch, so I was starving. So I ate early. Chase is eating now. He's having toast and a fruit pouch. That's gonna be his dinner. Madison, I gotta make her something before we go, and we gotta leave here around 6.30, I guess. So that's like a little more than an hour we have to leave. And I really wish that we could see it in the daytime. By the time we get there, it's gonna be dark. <sighs> it sucks. But I guess if we like it, then we could ask to go back and see it again during the day or something. But I hate that. Like, I just wanna like go see the house, know if I like it, if we like it and we wanna buy it, Tell them so we can get our offer in and everything. I'm getting ahead of myself. What if we hate it? <laughs> get that out of your mouth, please. Yeah. Don't put motorcycles in your mouth. You're getting spit everywhere? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. It's gross. Here you go. There's your dinner. <laughs> and this. Greg got these. Greg got these at Stop and Shop, I think, and they are Halloween ones. Except, I don't know, what the frig is that? A banana? That's not Halloween. What is a banana? Oh, because it's apple banana. Okay, I get it. Um, but they have, like, bats on them and, like, spider webs and stuff. Chase keeps thinking they're Halloween fruit pouches, but they're the same flavor. He keeps saying he, keeps saying he wants to try it. Like, ooh, I want to try this one, but it's the same. It's just a packaging bud, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it's the next day now. We saw the house last night. We got home kind of late. We just put the kids to bed. You all right there? <laughs> just put the kids to bed and I figured I would just update you today in the daylight. Um, but it went pretty good. We are actually gonna go see it again on Saturday. So today's Thursday. So two more days we'll get to go see the house again um, in the daytime this time. I really just wanna see it when it's light outside because we saw it in the dark last night and it was like raining so it was like the worst weather or the worst weather and the worst time to go see a house um but from what we could see last night um i mean it's a small house it's a cape cod like this the living i'm gonna start off with the positives so most of the positives for me are on like the out the outside of the house and like i don't know so it has, the, my number one thing is the flat backyard. So it has a flat backyard. It has a really nice deck off of the kitchen. It's like not wood. It's like that, I don't even know, like Trex, Trex decking. Is that what it's called? It's like not splintery. It's like the really, it's like a nice kind of deck. So it's, it's got a nice deck, pretty good size. We could fit like a table out there and have like barbecues and stuff like that. And then it's not a high deck either. Cause a lot of houses you'll go out onto the deck and it's like, up uh, like a whole flight of stairs basically this is not it's only like a couple steps down so i really like that with kids and all um the backyard is a good size like i said it's flat we could definitely fit like a swing set back there or something um and then there's slider doors to the deck right off the kitchen like here which is i love that setup because i could be in the kitchen cooking or cleaning or on my computer or whatever and i could basically see them playing in the backyard so that would be perfect um, it also has a flat driveway, which is another thing that we wanted, but wasn't like, it wasn't like we had to have it, but it was, it would definitely be a perk if there was. So it's a flat driveway. All the streets around are flat. This neighborhood has sidewalks, which is also really nice for like walking with the kids and their bikes and scooters and all of that. Um, a lot of houses we've seen around here anyway, there's no sidewalks. So, and the streets are, the streets, the street was nice and wide from what we could tell from being in the dark. It was just like a nice area, like a nice neighborhood feel. Um, even the front yard was cute. You couldn't see it too much, but there was a cute little tree in the front yard, like not a tall tree, but like one of those like cute little decoration trees kind of. Um, and I just pictured like hanging Christmas lights on it and like little ghosts at Halloween time. It's kind of stuff that I think about. Um, but I really like the cute little tree. It also has side-by-side -side laundry, which I really wanted because I want to have a top loader so I want it to be side by side and not stacked um it has a full finished basement but it's like not nice <laughs> it's like finished from the 70s so it needs a lot of work in the basement to make it like a nice area um 
has a garage, just a one car garage, but uh, it has a garage. Um, the backyard is mostly fenced, which is another really nice thing. There's just one por one portion from like the house over a little bit where it's not fenced, so we would just have to finish that, like for the kids and for to bring Gracie outside. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The kitchen has nice light cabinet or light countertops this time because I've realized that I hate dark cabinets, especially when we have ants because we can't see them. Um, maybe that's a weird thing to think about, but. We have an ant situation here and they're always like when we get them they're crawling around on the counter and the countertop is like brown and you can't see them so i wanted to have light countertops this has light countertops light cabinets um four bedrooms two full baths but all right so those are pretty much all the positives the negatives are pretty much the rest of the house it needs work you guys like it needs some love it needs to be painted everywhere there's wallpaper that needs to come down the kitchen flooring looks relatively new but it's like that flooring i don't know it's not like there's it's the flooring that like kind of like slides in i guess and some of the pieces are like there's like a little gaps in between them i don't know why that happens it's like it doesn't fit completely tight i guess so the pieces slide around so i did notice that but that's whatever um there's carpeting that needs to come up. Um, I'd say both bathrooms need to be like gutted. Like those are complete reno jobs. They're functional right now. Like we could use them if we moved in, but I don't like them at all. Like one tub is like this dark pukey green color and the other tub is like a, a gray. Like I have no idea. The bathroom, the bathrooms have not been touched. I don't think um, in a long time. Oh, and another, another thing was all of the windows pretty much except for the living room window need to be replaced or kind of window that I've never seen before it's kind of like metal and it's like there's like X's all in the window and it's like metal I was like what is even going on with these windows so the house needs some work but it has the basics that we're looking for the only thing is that the living room is a tiny bit shorter than this living room like this way because where we have our couch over here they put a closet over there so we could take out that closet if we wanted to just to push back the living room a couple feet are you crawling over here he's like starting to crawl and i'm just like talking to you guys nope he's crawling backwards never mind <laughs> but yeah i don't know i think it went pretty good i i don't know that the, the house needs work like i said and it's just like we're not going to be able be able to do everything you know like quickly we're gonna have to pick like the most important things and do those first and everything else is gonna have to wait and get done slowly which if you know me like i don't like to wait to do things i like to just do them and have things done and over with i don't like to you know have to wait but yeah it went pretty good i'm excited to go back and see the house during the daytime and really get a feel for it and see how like the sunlight is and everything like that not that we can be picky about how much lighting the house gets i wish i could be picky about that but yeah, it'll just be nice to see it during the daytime in the sunlight and see, you know, just see it again and see what we really think. But Madison just got home from school, so I'm going to wrap this up and I'll update you guys in my next video, I guess. Thanks for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys.